G'day and welcome back. So uh, making good progress on the Golf here. Uh, one thing we do need to sort out is the clutch hydraulics and bleeding the system. So we'll make a separate little video of that. Uh, you've seen from the last video that the nice new clutch line goes between the master and slave cylinder. That's in there, that's good. Uh, there is need to sort out brake fluid supply. Uh, so here's the, the hose that came with the old, with my clutch, no? my gearbox conversion, auto to manual conversion. This one seems about half an inch too short, so we've got some new 5 sixteenths uh, fuel line, should be good enough for brake fluid. Uh, so we're going to chop a length for this, I'll show you where it connects in the car, then we're going to bleed it. Right, to bleed it, just read the factory manual, what is it, Bentley manual. Um, there's a VW special tool, a pressure bleeder. I don't have the VW special tool, I do have one of these. Uh, air powered bleeder. I've tried to use this to bleed brakes before, it's been absolutely useless. Uh, so we'll see how it works out on a clutch. It does, it's got a little bit of suction, um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes, get it bled, see if we've got a good clutch pedal, see if we can change some gears. Right, so first up we need our length of hose, you buy it by the meter, so here's a meter. I need half an inch more than that. Got my um, hose cutters. These are way better at cutting hoses than any other means. So I've already marked it, so we'll just get in and give it the old chop chop. There you go. End up with a nice, nice round end. That's what she said. And, uh, I'll tell you what, we'll tidy up the uh, tidy up the shop board in two. Try that again. Right. There we go, two nice ends. As long as it's longer than that one, which it is, it should be good as gold. So let's get it in. Right, we'll get you in and show you what we need to do. So here's the brake fluid reservoir, the automatic one. But you see down here on the on the edge here, it's got that tab and a little nozzle. That's for the manual cars that obviously the uh, clutch hydraulics so all we need to do is snip off that end there um, put our hose on hose goes to the cylinder there uh, but obviously you need to do that without pissing all over everything so we'll get some rag set up get that bottom end of the hose on and then we'll um, see how much of a mess we can make doing that all right uh, let's be the rabbi at the bar mitzvah and chip the end off these are these are the this is the best tool I can find that's going to fit down here Oh yeah, just yeah, got So the pedal feels not too bad now. We've got a fair bit of air out of there. See this pressure bleed is not that great. Um, but it is sucking a little bit, so... I'm 
I'll just pump the uh, pedal a few times. Just crack that loose. So I didn't, didn't get many bubbles just then, so I'll uh, take you into the car to see how that pedal feels. Feels like a pedal. There's a wee bit of a delay there. bleeding. There we go, I've just completed that same bleeding pre procedure a couple more times and the pedal's looking okay. Uh, I won't know until we actually start trying to drive it. Um, the spring's back nicely so um, yeah, we'll go with that. So that's how you bleed your clutch pedal on a Mark III Golf VR6 with a hydraulic clutch and a no-two-way gearbox. Cheers.